I'm in the man cave today and I'm going to be making some custom backdrops uh, for when I take pictures, you know, to make it look a little bit more fancy, a little bit more snazzy. I got the idea and I got the inspiration from Joni at the Bite Shot. And I'm gonna also put a little link on here to see how she does her thing. And I'm just gonna take some ideas and make my own. Okay, so the idea is a compound, like the stuff that you put on your wall that's matte. Put that all along a piece of uh, plywood and then apply some different paints and textures. I'm doing smaller ones because I take my uh, pictures usually like after dinner and I put a light on it and I'll put it right on my dinner table. So I usually kind of do the overhead shots or I might do a side shot, but I don't need a big giant uh, photography like backdrop board. So I'm making like mini versions of it today. Uh, it's a two day process. The first day you're gonna put down the compound and make your textures and let it sit and cure. Then you're gonna add your paint, your textures. You can use different brushes, different styles and just be really creative with it. I'm gonna do a dark board and a lighter board and I also have a little bit of like a robin's egg blue to play with. And the reason I'm using blue is because blue contrasts with orange and brown. Food predominantly is orange or brown. You're gonna get a lot of orange and brown in food. So the contrast is like the light blue to make it pop. You know, I'm just gonna start sharing all this stuff with you. I, I think I have so much fun on the back end of things and like learning how to, you know, make my pictures better or make my video better. And I totally believe in lifting each other up and we can all learn from each other. So I'm gonna share stuff that's working for me. You know, why not? Okay, I got them all done. Couple tips on how to apply it. So all this stuff cost me about 60 bucks for the paint and all the wood and the compound, maybe 70. So you're gonna use a spackle knife. I think this is what this is called. And you know, drop a lot of it on. Think about it as icing a cake. You don't want the wood showing, you don't want the cake showing, right? So you just put that thin layer of icing, make sure it covers every little piece of wood. You want it too thick or too textured because your plates might not sit flat. Once it's all on, then gently, very lightly, pull the brush of the knife and just kind of go across. So you're creating some texture. I don't like hard lines. I want it to be very random. That's just my style. So I went kind of, I went one way, I went another way, and then I kind of played with it a little bit. spend too much more time with it because then I'll just, I'll overdo it. So I'm just gonna leave it alone and I'm gonna let it dry. Oh crap. Eh, gotta clean up my pants too. Might wanna wear an apron or a crappy pair of, of pants, just in case. Okay, so here we are. Day two, they're all dry, nice matte finish. The only thing I can see is this one over here is a little thicker and it's got a little tiny bit of a bow to it. So this one is flat, flat. So it has a thinner amount of the plaster. So something that you can think about, uh, you know, this is a thin piece. You can go a little bit thicker on the wood so that way it will not bow. I'm gonna use these. These are my first go at it and I'm gonna start painting them. Yeah, a little housekeeping reminder here. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. Uh, I'm gonna move out of here because I don't want to get paint on the boat. 
I'd be in big trouble if I did that. Also wear some clothes that you're okay with getting a little bit of paint on. Okay, so the plan here is to do one of them, keep it really light. The second one I'm gonna do will have more gray, gray white, and this one I'm gonna do darker to have a contrast and a difference. So based on the type of food or the dish, certain dishes and certain colors go better with light or dark. You know, like if you have cauliflower rice, for example, you're not gonna wanna put cauliflower rice on a white background, because so you're not gonna see it, especially like a white plate, white cauliflower rice, and a white background, you'll have zero contrast. And um, the other side of the coin, if I had something really dark, like mushrooms or, um, like a portobello sandwich or something, you know, that really dark color brown, deep color brown, I would use a lighter color for that. Contrast. Okay, so here I am out in the sun. It's gorgeous, gorgeous day. Um, I'm gonna use gloves and I'm gonna use, uh, I have a couple shop rags to help kind of with the paint. So far, what do you think? I think they're coming out pretty good. Uh, let's start with the black one. The black, I, all of them are matte paints. Don't forget, they're all matte, no gloss, no gloss at all. So I put the dark gray on first, and then I went over with a little bit of white here and there. I used my gloves, and every time it kind of got a little too blotchy on the like spray paint look, I just quickly did this one a little bit more on the gray side. So there's grays, and then there's also a little bit of that blue white on this one. Started with the gray and then went in with that really light robin's egg blue and just kind of did the same thing with my gloves. Just kind of rubbed it in as soon as I put the paint on to uh, diffuse it a little bit. And then this one, I'm, I'm really just going to keep this white, just straight white uh, with, with the texture itself. Okay, now they're all done. And the last thing is a finish, an enamel finish. So I'm gonna put this all over all of them and it is a matte finish. And then we're done, that's a wrap. Morning video too. And this isn't the ideal situation. I've got a total glare in my eyes, but it is what it is. This is how you learn. So I hope you enjoyed this. I will be doing more of these as things come along. And you know, if you're a fellow food vlogger or you know, you take photographs of uh, you know, stuff in your kitchen, maybe you can use this too. I'll see you next time on Don Loves Food.